Hi, Dr. Bill Lanting, America's Allergist from americasallergist.com. Today I'd like to go over a study that was in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, or JACI for short. I think it was the August 2011 edition. It was a study called uh, Therapeutic Strategies to Reduce Asthma Exacerbations. What does that mean? Okay, what it was is that Dr. Paul O'Byrne, who's up in Hamilton, Ontario, at McMaster's University, reviewed the different medications and ways to keep asthma under control. And one of the ways to keep control is to not have attacks, asthma attacks, where you feel tight and wheezy and, and you know that you got a virus and you don't feel good. So he was reviewing the different things that we have or medication regimens we have to prevent asthma attacks. And he reviewed inhaled steroids, which are the primary way to keep control of yours. Because remember what you're looking for with asthma overall, control. No restrictions, no limitations, no symptoms. Okay, And his big thing was, let's keep asthma attacks away. So inhaled steroids are the first line of therapy in asthma. And he reviewed those and how effective they were in preventing asthma attacks. Then he looked into long-acting bronchodilators or albuterol, but the long-term kind. You have the short-term that you puff on and that lasts for a couple hours, and then the longer-term ones. So they help the first one work better. They should never be used alone. Then he talked about leukotriene antagonists, which is a pill you take every day that's an anti-inflammatory pill that's not a steroid, and that helps keep asthma in control, especially uh, that which is induced by viruses. It helps keep you from getting viral-induced asthma attacks. And then he went over two monoclonal antibodies, which are, what the, what's that? Those are chemicals that are synthesized to help prevent inflammation. One was against a chemical that actually creates inflammation in allergic asthma, and the other one is something that helps not, I'm sorry, allergic people who have allergy antibodies to have them bound so they can't create allergy inflammation and therefore have uh, asthma attacks. He talked a lot about eosinophilic uh, presentation. What is that? Those are little white cells that cause allergic inflammation in the airway, and those last two monoclonal antibodies help a lot in that type of asthma. So putting this paper together it just says there are these different medications, different schemes to help give you control and keep away asthma attacks or exacerbations. That's one of the goals of asthma therapy and as you go through our blog you'll see all the other uh, different types of therapies and go into them in more detail. So remember to look at AmericasAllergist.com. Bill Lanting signing off.